from Switzerland and took the earliest opportunity to condemn the attack that led to the death of Principal Magistrate of the Makadara Courts, Monica Kivuti. As though keeping or heeding to the cry of Kenyans, the president landed at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport aboard a Kenya Airways plane. While in Switzerland, President Ruto advocated for a reformed, more representative, democratic and effective United Nations system to better address global peace and security challenges. Here is Grace Nganga with that detailed report. After an appro over how much President William Ruto spends on his foreign travels and the recent spat on how he had spent on chartering a private jet for his state visit to the United States, Seems the presidency has decided to embrace the national carrier, the pride of Africa, Kenya Airways. Jetting back to the country early Monday following his participation in the G7 and the Ukraine Peace Summit in Italy and Switzerland, the head of state landed at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport aboard Kenya Airways, striking a pause with the crew of the airline. However, KTN News understands that the president earlier traveled to Italy and later Switzerland using unidentified means before boarding KQ and returning to Kenya. Kenyans had during his trip to the U.S. questioned why the president did not use the national carrier for the trip, but Ruto alleged that Kenya Airways was more expensive, clarifying the figures placed at over 200 million shillings by critics as false and that the government only paid 10 million shillings while the other costs were covered by his friends. Some friends told me, how much do you want to pay? I said, I'm not ready to pay more than 20 million. They said, bring 10 million, we will give you the plane. His deputy regarding a Shagwa boarded commercial Kenya Airways flight to Mombasa to open the International Scientific Conference of Society of Kenya last week eliciting mixed reactions from both Azmio and Kenya Kwanzaa coalition. If you want to politic, that is fine. If you want to go and talk in a church, in a public uh, burial place, that is fine. But not to the extent of demeaning the office of, of the deputy president. Adequate resources, including resources for air transportation, honorable speaker, both for fixed airing, aircraft, for helicopters, and even if the deputy president opted to travel by sea, there are adequate resources for him to travel by sea, by SGR, or even by coast bus. Just as other arrivals, the president was received by senior government officials led by Interior Cabinet Secretary Ricky Thurikindiki with his deputy regarding Ashagwa being a no-show. During his trip, Ruto joined world leaders in condemning Russian invasion of Ukraine, terming it an act against international law. This summit should not be a meeting of just friends. This should be a meeting of both friends and foe to succeed in this positive trajectory. Russia must be on the table. His arrival to the country comes at a time when politics are at a boiling point amid allegations of a fallout between him and his deputy. The president is also poised to have a sit-down with MPs allied to Kenya Kwanzaa coalition, independent candidates and opposition members who are working with him Tuesday morning in an attempt to sway them into supporting the controversial finance bill 2024 that will be tabled to parliament later during the afternoon sittings. Grace Nganga KT News, Nairobi.